Once you have your 2D shapes in place, it is time to turn them into 3D volumes. Many modifiers help you accomplish this task. Which ones you use depend on the type of object you're trying to create. If you need to revolve a profile around an axis, as in the case of a glass or a bottle, you select the shape and then add a lathe modifier to it. Depending on how you drew the shape, you will need to define an alignment or justification for the axis of rotation. By default, the center justification is used, but often the minimum and maximum options work better. You can increase the level of detail by increasing the number of segments. You can also weld the center core to prevent a number of vertices from bunching up. Even though you added a modifier, you can still go back to the shape sublevel and do more editing. In fact, you can simultaneously edit your spline and see the end result by using the Show End Result toggle. Arguably, the simplest modifier to use for turning a 2D shape into 3D is the Extrude modifier. Applied to a shape like this tabletop, it provides a linear sweep of the 2D shape to give it volume. A similar modifier to extrude is the bevel modifier. It provides you with three levels of extrusion, but also an outline factor that acts like scale on the extruded geometry. This creates chamfered corners that can catch highlights in certain lighting conditions. Another interesting modifier is Bevel Profile. It works like the Bevel modifier, but instead of levels, use a spline to define the extrusion. With that in mind, you ensure the object selected is the one you wish to bevel, in this case the tabletop. You then apply a bevel profile to it and pick a profile you created. If you decide to make changes to the profile, the beveled shape responds to the changes. One last modifier to visit is the Sweep modifier. Essentially, it lets you extrude the shape along the path. To use the Sweep modifier, you first need a path. As you apply a sweep modifier to the spline, you are presented with a number of presets to use as a cross-section. If you have already created a shape you want to use, such as the table leg, you can pick it from the scene and adjust its parameters. If the original shape needs scaling, 
do it at a sub-object level. This means selecting the original shape, go to spline mode and scale it up or down. The sweep modifier will then respond to the changes. Select the leg and make additional adjustments. This includes aligning the cross-section to the path. 